So guys, we have a surprise. Check this out. After months and months of just not working on this and not doing anything, watch this. Welcome to Trippin' with Brad and Shyla. We woke up a little bit later than we planned on, but we're heading to Dana and Tim's house today. We gotta try and build our compost toilet. Woo! Pretty excited about that. <laughs> so that's our plan. We're gonna pack everything up real quick. Um, we're mostly there and then we're just gonna zip back to Portland and uh, go work on the van a little bit today. And our weekend was fantastic. It was great getting to know Winston and Kim a little bit more. Yeah, they're awesome. Definitely go check their channel out. Definitely check that out. Worth a worth a follow. And I think they're gonna be doing a lot of big things coming up. So let's head back to uh yeah. let's head back to Portland. Weekend doesn't end here. We have van work and a barbecue to go to. Something like that, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Canali. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right now we're at Dana and Tim's, and we are going to make our toilet box. Mm -hmm. So we're here at Tim and Dana's house, white composting toilet. We have our Johnny compost. DIY composting kit. Comes with all sorts of stuff. I think we showed you in the last video. So we're building the box. And then the toilet seat's gonna go on that. And then inside we have this spindle thing for the nature's head. So we're gonna figure out how to make this go inside and then we're gonna spin that to toss the compost. And then we'll have a urine diverter here that will run off and off to somewhere else. And then these are our drawer sides. So this is going to go near our bed and we'll be able to pull it out and push it back in as we need it. This will be where we leave it today. We're having a dinner with Tim and Dana because they're moving to Arizona. And so we're going to kind of have a, a little hoorah before they, they leave and before we leave for our trip. So got our fuse and the new switch for the water system installed so we're about to test out the water system too so that's really exciting I really hope it works and I hope we have no leaks because we've had it in we've had it about 99% installed for I don't know a couple months two months something like that so it'd be really nice to finally use the use our water system. We don't have a gray tank, so we'll have to like drain it into a bowl for now, but that's okay. As long as it works, it's progress. We'll leave our toilet there for tonight and we're gonna try our water system. Switch. All right, so there is a little bit of a leak right there. A little bit of a leak coming from there. Okay, turn it off. We got a cell booster. That's exciting. A Wii Boost Reach RV Cell Signal Booster. We're gonna install that this morning. We're back at Luke and Haley's. We leave in a few weeks for full time travel, so we're trying to wrap up all our loose ends. This is the antenna which needs to go on the roof so i think first things first is we need to decide where this is going to go on the roof and then we need to figure out where on the inside we want the router you could call it and the signal to be it's the strongest which i think is the bedroom so let's do that brad you gotta toss me on the roof again we need to get a ladder this is where we decided to put our Wii Boost. So it is right on our Unistrut that we have our solar panel on. Right there. It's not too tall, but it definitely is tall. 
And then for right now, we have the, I have to blow off all the metal shavings, but for right now we have the wire going down this path right here. And then Brad is working on figuring out how to get up into the van. As you can see, our van is all apart again. We have a fan back there. It's our second fan. For some reason, a few months ago, it stopped working. I think it's due to the voltage issue. So we have that fan and this fan running off the same circuit. circuit. So what happens is this fan, as soon as I turn it on, it blinks green and it just um, beeps like obsessively. I called the company, their Max Air fans are the deluxe ones. I did call Max Air fan. They said it's gonna be a voltage issue. So this is like a known issue, which is why I think a lot of people don't have two fans in their van. So what we have to do is rewire the back fan and get it on its own circuit and see if that helps. It should. Um, our Wii Boost is getting wired back there. He decided to go ahead and just rewire our fan. So hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have a, at least have a, two fans. this cool spot we just found somebody took our original spot but that's fine because this is cooler check this out no i didn't make it that's so nice i'm glad we drove 13 miles down a dirt well, road let's what happened. I think we need to start on what exactly happened. Luckily, after hours of driving and not finding anything, this gem. This is pretty cool. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Great evening. And we have pizza. We got pizza. We got no. campfire. So guys, we have a surprise. Check this out. After months and months, of just not working on this and not doing anything. Watch this. We got water! We got water! We don't have a gray tank yet, but boy howdy, we got water, and that's the best thing in the world. Come on, Sophia. Hi. Good morning.
right now while we're just hanging out, Brad's making breakfast, I'm going to attempt to put some fabric on this stretch right here. So we're gonna put like wood right there and then we just decided to wrap this. We got this fabric, it's like a car fabric or stereo fabric, I don't exactly know but so yeah, we're just gonna use this to wrap this column right here. And then also in the back, we're gonna wrap that top column right there too, but we'll get to that. Okay. So, yep. Yeah, it truly feels nice to have things sort of coming together. Pretty bananas to think about. I put in my notice in like two days. So I'm giving them a couple week notice and then we have a wedding that we're helping with. So after that, it's full time travel and we cannot wait. It's been great last few days here at this campsite. It truly has been so quiet and peaceful, which has been lovely. Last week has been a kind of a crazy week, so we just wanted a few days to relax. No cell service, no one around us. It's exactly what we got and it was perfect. But today is cool because we're gonna go see this cool shipwreck out by Seaside. That's where we're going right now. It's just an hour and a half, two hours away. And then I think after that, we're probably going to explore a little. So right now we have water all over because the pump was on and we didn't know. So. 